Hey friends, how you doing? Well, I hope. Today's video, I'm so excited. We have a style video that is so special to me. It's something that's been swirling around in my mind. And I, what time better than the present? Okay, so Karen Britchick, she does these, um, what everyone's wearing in New York, and she recently did what everyone's wearing around the world. Love the video, love the concept. Wanted to do my own version. Um, if you don't know, I have another Instagram account outside of It's Me Kelly B. I have And I Get Dressed, and it's where I feature people from around the globe. And it's not separated by size or race or anything like that. It's just stylish humans that look incredible to me. And I feature lots of people. So if you ever want to just have an account where you just scroll and get outfit ideas, um, photo ideas, inspiration, it's, it's not all like super editorial shot with like a photographer. A lot of it is people shooting stuff on their phone or with a tripod or just selfie style obsessed with it so hopefully you will be too but i've always wanted to create a video bringing that instagram account to life and this was the perfect format so thank you karen for the thought um so what we're doing is i have rounded up a few there are so many more so we can totally do a part two if you're obsessed with this video which i hope you will be there are so many people who i've met in real life through the internet um, who work in the same industry or don't do something creative uh, who are epically stylish. So this is kind of like the plus size version of the other video. Um, I'm going to show you some of my nearest and dearest people who I'm obsessed with, people who have inspired me over the years and have them share a little bit with you about their style and give you an outfit idea, kind of like an outfit that represents them most. I'm a little dressed up for you today because I've been looking like a hot mess all week. Um, so it felt good to put on some makeup, do my hair, turn on the camera, put on a dress I would love to wear somewhere when we can go anywhere. Um, so I encourage you, if you're kind of feeling a little bleh, throw on some makeup, do your hair, throw on a cute outfit, even if it's just to go to your living room. Without further ado, let's get started. I figure we should jump to Paris first because who wouldn't love to go to Paris right now? The first person I'm going to show you right now is Stephanie Zwicky. She's so chic. So, so chic. She's one of the first plus size bloggers that I started following online when I was just a baby blogger. I always thought she was just really stylish, incredibly chic, had a really specific point of view and a style that you could definitely um, take inspiration from. So Stephanie joins us from Paris. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, c'est Stephanie Zwicky. Salut, c'est Stephanie Zwicky de France et aujourd'hui je partage avec vous ma tenue du jour. J'ai choisi de porter euh, cette jupe en cuir, très très près du corps, hyper agréable à porter, euh, boutonnée euh, sur toute sa longueur, avec des pressions. Elle est vraiment euh, super belle et on se sent sexy quand on la porte. En haut, je porte un t-shirt stretch, très près du corps, euh, couleur euh, cappuccino, café au lait, de la marque euh, Boubou. Par-dessus, ce grand French que j'aime vraiment, vraiment beaucoup. Euh, très souple, je peux même le porter en robe. Je trouve que c'est vraiment une belle pièce qui me ressemble beaucoup. C'est un peu ma pièce signature. Et c'est un French euh, Violetta by Mango, comme ma jupe. L'accessoire qui fait fureur en ce moment, les grosses pochettes oversize et souples. Celle-ci est marron chocolat assortie à ma jupe. Et c'est une pochette de chez Zara. À mes pieds, une paire de mules euh, white fit de la marque Evans. Voilà, ça fait une petite tenue euh, parfaite pour euh, euh, le printemps, l'entre-saison et euh, dans laquelle je me sens vraiment bien. Et bien sûr, ma touche de rouge à lèvres rouge orangé qui est encore une fois ma signature. Allez Also joining us from Paris is my girl, Sakina. When I saw Sakina online, I was like, wow, are we soulmates? She's so freaking cool. I think she has that Parisian chic, but she definitely is a little bit more street style. Um, I just relate to her so deeply. She's amazing and stunning, and I think her outfits are always killer. Hi. I'm Sakina, and I'm from Paris. 
I chose this specific outfit because I love, love, love the skirt. The skirt is amazing. It's very flowy. It's super lightweighted. I love the print. It's a black and white print, which can be either interpreted as a animal print or also an abstract print. What I love the most is actually the mix between the different kind of styles. So I have this very boyish and oversized t-shirt, but also boots, heel boots, and a sexy skirt. I love this. This is very typical of me. I love doing oversized, I love doing boyish styles, but I also love being a little bit sexy, a little bit feminine, all of that together. I also have this beautiful bag that is worn here as a crossbody bag, which adds on to the boyish uh, effect of the outfit. Okay, we're leaving Paris and we're headed to Canada. Let's go to Halifax where we have Mo. Mo is one of the most, woo, she is fire, y'all. Her print mixing skills are otherworldly. Her um, imagery, the way that she creative directs her shoots, they're so, so, so good. Get ready to be inspired. Hey everyone, my name is Masemo and I am a content creator, visual storyteller, stylist, TV host, all around creative. And I am originally from Zimbabwe, but I now call Halifax Canada home. Uh, my style is usually very, very print heavy. I am always in prints, uh, but currently I'm just in a different zone and I'm doing a lot of tonal looks. So this look best describes where I am right now. Um, Style-wise, I love this vintage looking um, trench coat. It's got this really amazing vinyl and like buttery feel. And I love the texture as well. So kind of putting this knit with the vinyl, it's just, oh, it makes me so happy. Um, also, I can be seen in like really quirky sunglasses. Exhibit A. And I also love really, really tiny handbags. Exhibit B. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is my style right now. Very tonal, mixing colors and trying to like find new ways to uh, make colors work together. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy my look. Peace. Let's head over to Arkansas. Arkansas's brightest light is Rochelle. If you don't follow her, Beauty Curve. She's a bomb girl. She's so chic. She makes everything look good. She can have on a t-shirt from Walmart and a pair of Louboutins and I'm like, what are you wearing? You look so elevated. The way that she puts things together is just so crisp. Rochelle, let's see what you got, girl. My name is Rochelle and I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. I definitely would describe my style as feminine, um, classic, yet modern. I love to dress in bright colors, fun, bold prints. Um, definitely everything that they tell plus size women that they shouldn't wear, I'll definitely wear it because I don't listen to they and what they say. So I'm wearing this pink Tanya Taylor um, silk maxi dress. It's really pretty. I love that it's flowy. And I love that the color is so vibrant. I paired it with my favorite vintage Chanel earrings. I love the look of just like slicking the hair back, big earrings, and a fun dress. Definitely my style. And I also just paired it with some nude pumps because they're super neutral. Um, I totally believe you should wear what you want. Don't listen to what other people say. And whatever makes you feel good, you just put it on. And when you look good, you feel good. The famous saying. Um, so yeah, this is my style. Off we go to Arizona. Uh, Gianluca is such an angel. He is the just the cherry on the Sunday. We met through the industry. He also writes for Teen Vogue. He writes for a lot of places, and we met through him, like interviewing from me interviewing me for different articles and then we both were working you know doing work for Teen Vogue and we see each other at Fashion Week. He's amazing and I love his point of view. He's a talented writer but he's also a fashion killer. I think he does really cool things with 
um, men's style. So I wanted everyone to be inspired. Here's Gianluca. What's up everybody? My name is Gianluca Russo and I'm here today to show you one of my go-to everyday looks. So I recently moved to Arizona from New York and the climate out here is, of course, much hotter than I'm used to. And so I'm always looking for breathable fabrics that are also still stylish. I love graphic tees and this one is one of my favorites. It says, let me fat in peace. I got it from the cut on their Amazon page and it was affordable, fits really well and holds up really well. I've paired it with these pants I got from Macy's. This color is super common here in Arizona and it fits the whole aesthetic here really well. I love Macy's because they have so many big and tall brands that's so hard to find nowadays, even in 2020. And so I love being able to go there and know right away that I'll be able to find clothes in my size. To style this, I'm first gonna use this black crossbody bag. I love crossbody bags and fanny packs. It's a trend I hope doesn't go away for a long time. I think they're so useful and they carry so much in them. And then I'm gonna just add on this tan hat that I got from Forever 21. Hats are a really big deal here as well, especially with the sun in the summer always beaming down. So they're really useful. And I'm gonna add just a pair of sunglasses and also Arizona Essential. And then to finish it off, I use these white leather boots that I'm a huge fan of. I've been looking for them for years now. So I found them a few months ago in my size on sale. It was like a godsend. I got them right away and I've worn them pretty much every week since. I could also pair this with a sneaker, uh, a white sneaker or a different chunky sneaker or even a Converse. If it was winter, I would pair this with a heavier coat like this. I wore this during fashion week in February and it was great. Or if it was fall, I wear it with a leather jacket. And so there's so many different ways I can accessorize and style this look all year round, but this is how I would wear it during spring and summer. It's definitely one of my favorite go-to looks and I hope you like it as well. All right, we're gonna hop the pond and head to London. So Inam, how do I describe her? I saw her online and I thought, I was blown away. I think our bodies are super similar. I think, you know, we have um, similar tastes in terms of like, things being sort of edgy or editorial. She's a phenomenal makeup artist. Um, she is the person that Teenage Kelly would have idolized. Like just being, there's something about representation. We all know the importance of representation and what it means to see yourself reflected to you, especially in a really beautiful way. And she's one of those people for me. She's so freaking cool. Hello, the girl has been doing editorials for Vogue magazine. Yes, Vogue magazine. And she's also super stylish. Hi, my name is Anna Misyama. I am a plus size model and content creator. Um, most of my work can be seen on Instagram and that's where basically I was scouted as well. Um, and in person, but that's another story for later. I'm known for my fashion, my style, my beauty, my arts and culture content. Um, and so let's get into it. <laughs> so I chose this really vibrant dress, which has like all these patterns, shapes, raciness, in terms of how busy, how busy all the tones and colors are within this dress. I tend to enjoy wearing dresses. So you find that a lot of pieces on my wardrobe involve dresses. Um, and I like layering dresses because they are light and they are fun to play around with because with dress shapes, you can, you can, you know, have sleeveless, you can have, you know, loads of sleeves, you can have layers of fabric and without losing the shape of the body, you know, um, with dresses, it's more figure hugging. And I tend to find that I love mini, mini pieces, like mini skirts, mini shorts. Um, I like to show my legs. I like to show my assets, my breasts, my ass, like as a fat girl, I think that having um, more of a body con, you know, basic outfit is not my style, but if you add layers of fabric and if you add more color and patterns to that, it really speaks to me because I am from Ghana and in Ghana our culture is really known for the vibrancy in our our rich culture basically um, of having this you know kente cloth that tells a lot of our story of our history and we pair that with well the kings and queens pair that with loads of gold so I tend to go for golds as opposed to silvers so you can see that I have um, chain, gold chain pieces on on my wrist um, across my neck and my earrings, you know, and with these hoops, you know, gold, sweetheart, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it speaks to a lot of my black British culture because we wear a lot of hoops as well. And it's um, a very black girl thing to do wearing hoops. So I really love um, each piece that I chose for this complete outfit. I paired it with a pair of 
short heels um, because I will tend to wear short heels when I go out for comfort as well because a lot of what I do is about comfort but also trying to bring that vibrancy in, in all I do and um, in how I dress. I don't want no basic black and white but if I was to do black and white, I would add a pop of color. So that's just how I do. I like color blocking and pop of color. Basically. Let's hop over to Toronto for my girl Fran. Fran and I have been friends since the beginning of my blogging career. I don't even remember how we met. I think we just were drawn to each other's style. Fran is a minimal queen. She loves minimism. Minimalism? Wow, I can talk. She loves like starkness, like black, white, neutral. She's not super into color. She's also a super talented designer. She is an artist. She draws these really cool sketches. She designed the Fed at Fashion Week merch for uh, for Fashion Week this season. So yeah, Fran is, she's a fashion killer and I can't wait to see what she has to say. Hi there, my name is Francita. I am an artist, designer, and creative here in Toronto, Canada. Uh, my style is minimalist to the max. Uh, it's like if your minimalist contemporary line met like your kooky art aunt slash hippie. Yeah? But all of that falls under minimalism. <laughs> I am attracted to items that all go together, honestly. I love items that are clean, timeless, streamlined, um, that you can throw on and will go with everything else in your wardrobe. I like items um, that come in multiple colors. I love to grab a white and a black. Um, basics are 80% of my wardrobe. The other 20% would probably be um, fashion pieces, items that I can wear with these basics that take them to the next level. Um, things like silk skirts that are super comfortable, or trousers that are high-waisted in a new color, or um, a vinyl trench coat. Things like this take your basics and turn them into a really cool look. That along with, you know, kooky accessories and fun earrings and glasses, unfortunately, because I am very blind. <laughs> I am often attracted to, um, for a really long time, all I would wear was black. Uh, and now I find myself more attracted to color the deeper I get into art. Um, I like to try out colors that conventionally wouldn't go together, um, but end up working together anyway. This one's special because I found Shakila through my And I Get Dressed page. I don't know her. Uh, we haven't like shared exchanges, but I found her as I just, look through Instagram, finding cool people to feature. And I featured her style quite a bit. I think she dresses so cool. She is from Batak. Um, I love what the internet did, um, introducing me to someone that I didn't know from a faraway land who looks amazing. And I regularly check out her page. Hey, I'm Shakila from Singapore. And I'm gonna share with you guys my outfit that I've chosen. Okay, this is a hoodie that I got from Uniqlo. I got different colors of it because I love it so much. It's so comfortable. And then um, this is a, an ASOS skirt. It's a satin skirt, I think, in a snake pattern. I love it too. It's so comfortable. And then I got this on. This Adidas um, Sandal Ross. Very comfortable too. It, and it's white. So always have a white shoe, guys. Always. And then my watch and my bag. Oh, it's like super trendy right now to wear these kind of bags, you know, hanging on your shoulder. Okay, I love it. Thank you. Heading back to the USA for Dallas. My friend Kia, we are practically cousins. I love this girl so much. She's so cool, so freaking chic. And I like, I love that, you know, she's like this edgy, um, fashion understanding kind of woman. She gets it. She gets designers. She gets how to like apply them into her regular life. I think she's the perfect example of like a mom, a preacher's wife, lives in Dallas. 
I think she's also a great example of being able to be edgy and modest. So she says she's conservative because she doesn't show a lot of skin. But I think that, um, you know, you don't have to be like boring to be conservative um, or to be modest. And she's a great example of that. Kia, what you got, girl? Hey, y'all. My name is Kia Torres, and I write for the blog From the Res to the City, a blog on plus size fashion. You can also find me on Instagram at Res to the City. If I were to describe my style, I would say that I'm pretty conservative, but there's always an unexpected twist to my outfits. For instance, these shoes only have one toe. <laughs> I love the square toe. I love the one toe. There's something that's kind of unexpected and fun. Scrunchy bag, patent leather hat. This dress is from Eloquy. I love the color and it's faux leather. This outfit pretty much sums up my personal style, conservative with a twist. Next person I want to introduce you to is Marquise. Marquise is chef's kiss. So stylish, so inventive, so New York. Like this person is just out of sight, out of sight. Um, so sweet and so gorgeous. And Marquise's style is edgy. It's it's a little bit city, it's a little bit bohemian. It's it's kind of just a mashup of cool, and I think you're gonna really, really enjoy it. Hi Kelly, hi y'all. I am Marquise Neal. I am a content creator, style enthusiast, and model that lives in Brooklyn, New York. And honestly, I just really love a good outfit. Um, I'd say that my style is dependent on the mood that I'm in when I wake up. Um, I take a lot of influences from the seasons, fashion trends, people around me, fictional characters, art, um, and I use that and I blend it with my own sense of style and create my own personal style. Like for instance, this is one of my favorite outfits right now. Um, this is just an all tan jumpsuit. Um, I got this uh, thrifted, thrifted or pre-loved, depending on who you are and how you want to say it. Um, I really love the idea of buying things that are pre-loved and have a little bit of love or history inside of them already because they've just been around a little bit longer and they have a story to tell. Um, I also added a Dior vintage monogram scarf because I find that it's just a little bit more playful and fun. Um, it's getting a little bit lighter, or not lighter, but it's getting a little bit warmer outside, so I feel like having something kind of light and breezy to catch the air gives a little bit more movement. Um, I'm also wearing my baby earrings because I am baby. Um, and yeah, they're just a little bit fun and they're a good conversation starter. Um, I love all things beauty, makeup, fashion, style. Um, I love things, I love all things that are uh, beauty, style, fashion, femme, anything that's really fun and gets a lot of energy I tend to be very gravitated towards. Um, I hope that you like my outfit. Um, I've also paired it with some Adidas All Whites. Um, they have a little bit of green on them and I like the way that the green accents on the pink. Um, and if you're feeling extra bold, if you're feeling, if you're feeling extra bold, um, you can also, or what I've also chosen to do is Pair it with a pink ASOS jacket. Um, I just think that this pink on the cream and the burgundy looks really nice together, and I feel like it gives you a full, full fantasy effect. Um, I hope that you guys are staying inside and washing your hands. Again, thank you so much, Kelly. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Bye. Last but not least is the one and only Erica Hart. Erica is incredible. Erica is a number of things. They are a sex educator, public speaker, breast cancer survivor, um, activist in support of human rights, in support of artistry, um, and just one bad ass person. Like, wow. Hi, Erica from Brooklyn here. Um, I would describe my style as funky, quirky, yeah, and I, was, I guess like very black too. Like I love black designers. Um, I love vintage designers. I like, I like things that people don't necessarily find 
on trends. I like to kind of form my own style. Um, so yeah, this hat is vintage, this jacket is vintage, and so is this dress. Um, and that's what I'm giving today. I also love oversized things. And this is sort of oversized, but not really. If it was bigger, I think it would really be cute. Um, but that's it. So that is Style Around the World, plus size edition. Humans that are just epic and amazing and stylish and that I hope you can take some inspiration from. Uh, this was so fun to put together and deepest thank yous to all of you lovely people who uh, during this crazy time of busyness or boredom or stress um, helped work on this video with me. I really appreciate you. I love you so much. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below. Who's your fave? What do you love? Um, are you going to try to repeat any of these outfits on your own? Let me know. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Mean it. Bye.